Guys, this is the first part of my three-part video series on how to repurpose an HP OfficeJet LCD touchscreen display. So I've taken a dead printer that had a perfectly good working LCD display and I've ripped it all apart, put it on the bench, and we're gonna, now we're going to figure out how it works and how to repurpose it to work in your Arduino or Raspberry Pi electronic projects. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are. So we got a Office Jet 6820 that we found in the dumpster in Newport Beach. It was pretty crusty sitting out in the salt air. But anyway, it was totally broken and probably because it got exposed to salt air. So pulled it all up. We took it all apart and pulled out all the essentials to make it work to just to re help reverse engineer it. So what we got here is a panel, touchscreen panel. We've got the power supply from the printer and then we've got the controller board for the printer. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it all back together, took out all the excess parts and threw them in the trash and we, now we just have the essentials from the printer. So here's the power button. We're going to hit it just to prove that it still works. Here's your touchscreen display. Looks like a 3x4 touchscreen color LCD and it starts up the motors seem to work everything's out of it but it's complaining about a missing paper jam here so it says there's a paper jam somewhere in this mess there's a paper jam so you can play the video show you they're going to explain how to do it but anyway this is what an office jet 6820 used to look like before we tore it apart the uh, touchscreen is on the right and Basically, it still has the embedded videos. So, the first part of this job is to hook everything up, make it work again, and then try to figure out what this controller board does. This is the printer formatter board. And you can see there's a microcontroller right smack in the middle. These, this bank of resistors marked a CP4, CP5, CP10, CP11, 12, and 13. These are, this is the back of the ribbon cable for the touch panel. And then you've got resistor packs. So these are connected directly to that microcontroller. And that microcontroller has uh, HP logos stamped all over it. It's not recognizable. And you can see this is a RAM module of some sort. This is RAM for the controller for the CPU and this is ROM for the CPU this is probably some sort of flash memory module containing the program that the formatter board is running and you can kind of see it's the uh, touch panel is connected directly to it so inside the touch panel it's got a Z-Force NN1001 in there it's the only recognizable part which is a uh, touch screen controller of some sort. You can see this thing has uh, Ethernet, it's got USB, it's got phone lines on it. And you can see it's got, uh, on the other side you can see it has, it's got a JTAG connector. You've got two serial ports, two serial interfaces. They're just uh, pads, mini USB. Got a variety of uh, GPIO type things on here for sensors and motors and whatnot. And then this guy here, this is the connector, the ribbon connector for the display. So you can see it's got a bunch of resistor packs on it. Four connector, four, basically four resistors in a pack. And you can see some of they're not all the same. They're marked 680 and 89. And then these white things, the CPEs, are uh, resistor packs for a driver of some sort. So the mystery is to figure out what this um, ribbon cable is connected, how it's connected, and what the pins are. So it could be a standard thing. And once you figure that out, then you can repurpose it. So, yeah, that's what it is. So figure out which, which first job is to figure out what kind of 
microcontroller we're dealing with here, what kind of CPU we're dealing with and how it's connected, and then we'll just go to the data sheets and we'll figure out how they drive, uh, how they can drive a display like this. So anyway, yeah, that's what it is. First job is to rip it all apart. So that's pretty much the end of this video right here. We'll shut this guy down. We'll hit the power button and turn it off. It says we're missing print heads. It says our print heads are missing. I don't see any print heads in here at all, but I'm just gonna hit yes and shut it down.